Hello everyone, welcome to day 11 and 12 of the Stardew Valley Skull Cavern Run. Raining today, I'm going to be doing some more fishing, even though I could get the pick and start mining today. The kale is ready, but I don't cut it because I want to leave those spots hoed for when I decide to replant, which won't be quite yet. Uh, I do run down to the town. I'm looking for a good fishing spot right here and decide to go under the bridge. It's the furthest spot I can get from land. Drop off a few artifacts and then I'm going to pick up the pick just so that I can get started first thing uh, tomorrow heading to the mines. And there it is, the gold pick. Did manage to snag a silver catfish from under there. And then spend the rest of the day fishing here. So on top of the fact that I don't have enough money yet for the bus, part of the reason I came down here was I didn't have high hopes, but I was, I was hoping, even though I didn't think it was likely, I could maybe finally snag a weapon for the mines, because that would just be a huge difference maker. And as I believe you're about to see, it actually turns out that it was the right move to make, because I get not only the broken trident, but a glow ring, which a broken, broken trident is not as good as the glaive, but it's still very, very good. And the glow ring, I had forgotten about how important that will be just for those floors 30 to 40 and uh, the, the dark floors. If you don't have a glow ring, what I usually do there is bring a torch and then I get an iridium band, which is the combination of a large glow ring, large magnet ring, and the attack plus ring. I believe it's the ruby ring, which is crazy. I mean, I have sunk so much time into this game and I believe I have only ever once, one other time ever gotten an iridium band from fishing out of all of the playthroughs I have done. It's, I, I've gotten more glaives than I've gotten, and not very many glaives, but I've gotten more glaives than I've gotten Iridium Bands. But that is going to make a big difference when it comes to mining the Iridium Band and the Broken Trident. The Iridium Band, long term, it's amazing. Honestly, even the small glow ring would have been okay. Just having some kind of light source on you for the dark levels of the mines is huge. But obvious, but my, my end game setup for rings, as you might have seen if you watched my Skull Cavern dive video, is an Iridium band and a burglar ring. Not entirely sure if or when I will get around to a burglar ring on this run, which is kind of funny because I was able to get a burglar ring on my farming style run, but just spending that amount of time in the cavern, in the mines to kill 500 dust sprites, that's time that I could spend in the skull cavern. So if it comes to it, on this run, I'm probably just going to roll with double iridium, which they do stack. Just means I have bigger magnet radius, bigger glow radius, and even more attack power. But more gold ore. It's a very successful, very successful day. I mean, it's it's a gold pyramid luck. It's not even it's not even a star luck day. And I actually ended up missing two treasure chests, one just there because I was catching a catfish and oddly enough, I was actually confident now at level 10, I could forgo the catfish to get the chest, but I kept trying to dodge the catfish and accidentally going in the exact direction he was going. I also, I don't know if he caught it, missed the chest earlier in the day because my finger slipped and I hit E, 
right as I caught the fish. And that is the bailout of fishing button. So I lost the fish and the chest, which was disheartening. But I mean, obviously I got a, an Iridium band and a broken trident. So it's still a very, very good day of fishing. And I also make quite a lot in terms of catfish. Still not enough to get all the way to the bus, but before that's even a possibility, I need to get to the bottom of the mines and either get a green bean or, and cauliflower or a cockle and a crab. So it's not a huge pressing matter anyway. Here we go, approaching the end of the day. I don't even end up needing to uh, to use the chest. It's, I still keep it there because there's no real reason not to. Uh, maybe once I get the upgraded backpack, if I come down here, I'll grab it to bring it back to the farm because you can never have too many chests at the farm. But for right now, it's there in case of emergencies because I got a really, really lucky chest day. Well, that's day 11. Waking up with half energy today because of passing out, but it's fine. I got plenty of stuff to eat. Realize that I am running out of space. So I decide to uh, go ahead and... Is that today? Yeah. Nope, not today. Dude, I'll, I'll have some space because I'm going to take all my forging materials up to the mine. And I got my broken trident, and I got my gold pickaxe, got my iridium band, and I am set to go. Starting on level 10, and this is a, a again, in a, another uh, good luck day with the pyramid. I get pretty decent luck. Still trying to get one rule I have, I think, that is even back from my non-farming run. You know, don't go, if you see a ladder, you take it, don't go out of your way, with the exception being for quartz. And that's because, especially on this run, when, you know, theoretically, we should be getting everything in droves once we start hitting the Skull Cavern, except for quartz. We might get some quartz, but it's not as reliably farmable as everything else. Just really downing my chubs here. And with the mining, I'm just kind of exploring the floor, looking for any uh, pre, pre-existing ladders, killing enemies I come across, uh, going a little bit out of my way for ore, but not ex in significantly out of my way. You know, if you kill all the enemies on the floor, you get a a good increase in your chance to find a ladder, but beyond that, I'm just you know, trying to go down as quickly as possible. And I mean, I'm already, what was that, made it to level 20? And it's only two o'clock. I actually have a good couple of days of mining here. You have to think about killing enemies on top of killing, as I said, kill all enemies on the floor, you get an increased chance that they drop, that a stone drops a ladder, but then also the enemies themselves can drop ladders. If you only have whatever it is you're finding in the mine, be it the rusty sword you start with or the, the steel sword that you get uh, on level like 10 or 20, it's not worth it. Or not level 20, you get a steel, that steel sword. It's not really worth it to kill anything except for maybe the no kill, killing the bugs because the bugs, especially the the blue bug, the bluish greenish bugs, they take one hit. They drop bug meat, good for bait. But if you beyond that, if you're just working with 
mine equipment, avoid the enemies. It's just really not worth it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But on the other hand, if you do manage in your, and I don't even think it's unlikely, with with 10 days of fishing, or, or even if you do mine yesterday, with nine days of fishing, there's a really good chance you'll get one of the two weapons that can make your mining significantly easier. And here we go, nine o'clock and I've already made it down to to iron levels. Gonna get those dust sprites. And just like that, I think. Yeah, we made uh, we make another five levels, and we have made forty levels in the mine in one day, which you know is is not easy, uh, and definitely significantly helped out by the upgraded equipment you know we have the gold pick so even on iron levels all of the rocks are only taking one hit and we have an upgraded weapon that's killing most enemies in one hit but yeah made it to level 50 in one day not too shabby getting some furnaces going getting some smelting going I am going to need some, well, I'll need the one gold, one copper, one iron for the blacksmith bundle, but, and then even beyond that, we do, we start need, needing some copper and iron because we're going to be looking for about 20 basic sprinklers for our next batch of kale. And with that, looks like I pass out. All right. Quick couple days, because mining is always faster than fishing, but I'll see you guys next time.